Electromagnetic Particle Clutches Magnetic particle clutches are unique in their design from other styles of electromechanical clutches. They have a very wide operating torque range and, like single-phase friction clutches, torque to voltage is almost linear. However, a magnetic particle clutch can have extended or even continuous slip without damaging the clutch. Typical applications are wire winding tension control, card readers, sorting machines, labeling equipment. The key components are the output flange, the outer support housing and bearings, coil, input shaft and bearings, magnetic particle powder. Both magnetic particle clutches and brakes operate the same way. Magnetic particles, specialized iron ore powder, are located in the powder cavity. Without any voltage current applied, powder particles are loose. However, when voltage current is applied to the coil, the magnetic flux that is created binds the particles together along the lines of flux. As the voltage current is increased, the magnetic field strengthens the binding of the particles. The clutch rotor cage passes through the bound particles, causing drag between the input and the output. Depending upon the output torque required, the output and input can achieve a 100% lockup, so there is no slippage. Torque can be easily controlled by the current. For example, if full voltage is applied, then the clutch would have full output torque. Since the relationship between torque and voltage is almost linear at half voltage, about half torque would be applied. This controllability makes magnetic particle clutches and brakes suited for tension control applications. Since magnetic particle applications involve partial or constant slip, they are usually not sized based on torque, but rather heat dissipation, according to the following formula. To increase heat dissipation, units can be mounted in aluminum, or some models have an option of forced air cooling. When the voltage current is removed from the clutch, the output is free to turn against the input. However, unlike other types of electromagnetic clutches, since magnetic particles are in the cavity, there is always some contact, residual drag, unlike other types of electromagnetic clutches.